if you didn't have to have a dog, I wouldn't probably even be doing it. And I've shied away from duck hunting because I just can't sit still that long with a the dog. They want to move and I want to move. I tell people it's like a coach. You got the team and you practice for this play for years and years, and then you take them out and you run it, and sure enough, it works. The horse stands still, the dogs go point, you shoot the bird, they bring the bird to you, and you just are amazed that it already did work. <laughs> There's just so many moving parts, you know, little brains you have to deal with, and horses and, and dogs. But uh, so here I am in the middle of eastern Washington. I probably hunt two or three days a week, at least an hour and a half, two hours. Uh, that's my exercise. I don't join the gym, I just go chase birds. You know, re living right here in the middle of farm countries, there's grain elevators everywhere, and one of the plights of grain elevators is wild pigeons. So I get permission to go up in the grain elevators and catch pigeons, and I got a pigeon launcher and you know a little, little uh, spring-loaded cage thing. Uh, so that's that's nice to have that available, and I got the time and I got the energy. So why not? I'm 73, and I think to hunt, you have to at least be able to walk at some a reasonable pace. You might have to crawl through a creek once in a while. And how physically debilitating do you have to be before you can't do that? That's pretty bad. You probably can't even climb stairs by then. So that's pretty close to a nursing home. I think there's a lot of years of hunting left. It, around here, it's not that tough, you know? It's not like chucker hunting, it's pretty flat country. And the, by the worst thing is climbing through drain, drain ditches. I got stuck with that the other day, uh, down in a drain ditch and trying to claw your way out the other side. The whole bank is frozen, so there's nothing to grab onto. For an old guy, that was a lot of wrestling around, but uh, that's okay. Uh, so I think I, I think I could hunt another 10 years.
the, well, somebody called their house and a friend of ours, who was much younger than I, said they, they fell today. And I'm thinking, fell? What's wrong with that? I fall six or seven times a day sometimes. In fact, yesterday I fell into that ditch. They just cleaned it out with a backhoe and I fell into the ditch and there's water, about, about three inches of water in the bottom. I was trying not to get my feet wet. It was so cold. And I just couldn't get back up the other side very well. Took me a couple runs at it to crawl up out of there. But anyway, uh, yeah, you know, but the other thing is, it's different from falling on the kitchen floor and falling into a nice soft bed of grass. And that's usually where it is. You trip over a limb and down you go and climb back up and keep going.